welcome back. We're here with Dragon's Lair. If anyone hasn't played this or ever seen it, you're in for an absolute treat. Um, I can't do anything on this options menu right now until I have control back of this, but... Oh, I do have control. Alright, are you with... It might. We just can't hit buttons at the same time, I think. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to go... I'm going to... When I say go, I'm going to... When I say one, I'm going to hit the button. And then I'll say go, and then you hit the button. Got it. All right. So three, two, one, go. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We got a button. Hooray! <laughs> no, the I mouse cursor. There you go. So this is Dragon's Lair. It is all just like QTs, but they don't tell you what the buttons are. It is one of my favorite games of all time. I remember seeing it when I was a very small child. We're getting to my favorite rooms first, which is crazy. Like... I wanted to explain that room, but I was too busy telling you about how much I love this video game. But uh, that room basically just hit right and you get out. Uh, I'm like back on my talking now, so most of this you can react to. If you know what buttons to hit, you're always going to get through stuff at the same time. And if you're sitting at home waiting for the intro to end the game to start, we have already started. Uh, this room repeats nine times. You really just need to jump off at any one you really want to, unless you're going for a high score, and then you drop off the absolute lowest one you can. And sometimes it goes between 3, 6, and 9, and I'm not quite sure when it's 3, when it's 6 or 9, but if you're trying to get the highest score possible, you want to go as soon as it's at the ninth one every time. Uh, that room I have to pay attention to because you have to go when the two things are right next to each other, and they pass by at the same time. It's one of the harder rooms for me to learn, but this room is also mirrored for some reason. But it doesn't matter because there's no mirrored inputs. It's always sword up down. So I don't know what it actually matters if you're going from left to the right to sword up down. This room is a fancy crystal, you just hit right and you're good to go. And this room has my favorite snake in it. Because all these snakes try really hard. And you kill two of them, that one's fine. And this last one tries, but he just doesn't quite make it. But you give him props. <laughs> this room is a room that's been killing me lately. You need to wait for the fire to disappear entirely before you go to the left. And then you leave through this weird fireplace hole in the wall thing. I don't know. Uh, this room kills me occasionally because I forget when to hit sword, but it will not do it this time because I guessed correctly. I didn't. I missed the beep there. I don't. Okay, whatever. I'm missing beeps in my head. This is the room I get it mixed up with because one of them starts with bats. They both have bats in them, and one of them starts with sword. One of them starts with move. That bat. He, I like those bats there. They just kind of bop into the wall and they're good to go. This. You wait for the fire to disappear, you hop back and forth. I actually had to pay attention to that room and I couldn't talk about the whole thing. I can kind of do most of the rooms here. Well, that was almost scary. In the original arcade version, I used to go down the first one every time, but now it's just always just let it go down a little bit further and I can do better. I, I'm much more consistent. This room in other versions of the game usually kills me. This one you can just kind of mash on the button and you'll be fine. I don't know why the timing changed or what is different. It's just... Dirk just trying to grab everything that glows that's in front of him here. And this is just to kind of ride the horse, dodge the fire, dodge the wall, dodge the fire. And then the fire doesn't quite give up even though we're out of the room. We were leaving this room, but the fire's still trying. This room is different in this version a little bit. There's one of the, uh, the rapids timings throws me off. But it is one of the easiest rooms to learn because you're just kind of reacting to left, right, or forward. I do love Dirk's noises that he makes during... So, like, there! That shouldn't have killed me! But we died nonetheless. This room, you just keep hitting right. You'll get out. This room is perfect in the Game Boy Color version, apparently. Because I got to play that yesterday. And this room is probably the most identical one, but it's missing that, that yelp right there. Not so daring. This is just hit left, and then just keep hitting right until the pot's in front of you, and you'll be fine. You can spam right all you want. I do like the whimsical little lizard dragon king guy. Like, I could see a cartoon about him entirely. Or just maybe being the antagonist of a dragon's or cartoon in general. And now you hit forward, and now you just hit A. And I don't think you need to hit A more than once, but it keeps making the confirm noise, so I'm going to keep hitting it takes that little bit of gold for some reason, despite there being tons upon tons of gold in this castle. Needs that little bit there. It's gonna do not dodge. We're going to... Now we're going to dodge something. Love that yelp. Just, oh! 
Man, this guy, I'm going to light my sword on fire for some reason. And we'll just take this little golem out. We're not even actually going to make contact with him. We're just going to hit his sword. This room in the mobile version killed me a lot. But now on the PC version, it's a lot easier to navigate for some reason. The timing's a little different. It's just Dirk making poor choices until he finally gets out of the room. This room's got a trick exit. And you see that chain up in front of us. If you pull that chain, you die and you lose. You don't lose, you just die. But So you go out to a hole in the wall. If you pull the chain, a bunch of water comes out and you fall in the pit. This room is mirrored also. And there's an easy way to tell which one it is. Because there's going to be a dark wall and a light wall. And you always want to go towards the dark wall when you get in. Instead of just reacting to what floor backs away. Because it's real quick. We've got our friend the spider. If you fail this input, it's always amusing because Dirk just kind of tries to push the block back up, and it doesn't go well. I like this room just because of the nice noises that he makes. Very fair. And then Dirk takes the world's slowest sword swing you will ever see in your entire life. <laughs> this room is way more confusing in other versions of the game. This, you just wait for the camera to cut after this swing. And just hit up. Keep hitting up. You want to stop hitting up when you're jumping over a ledge. You want to hold it. You want to hit up later. So this is up and you wait. Now you hit up. If you hit up too early, you jump off early. It doesn't go well. And now they all just flash away. Also, I'm hearing the stream on the TV. I'm hearing the stream, my audio on the TV. If there's a repeat or something. So this is this room again. We're going to see this a lot. Ah! I may have not hit a button there. We're also trying to work on technical things. While he can't hit buttons, or else I lose control of the game. Oh wait, I can pause it. Yes, do you need me to pause this? I'm hearing my commentary come through on... Hmm. Whoops, that's up. That's not the right direction. Sorry, we were trying to deal with things here at the same time. I'm going to stop dying, I promise. You hear it though, right? Did you just wait for the ball to go by? And then you just hit down. You'll be good to go. I apologize for the deaths here. I usually do this without a game over, but... We're working on stuff at the same time. Live show. Things happen. I died in rooms that I should not be dying in. That's somewhat embarrassing. I love the little cities. Bop, 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 bop. Alright. This is the mirrored version of the room that we already got through that is... Really no need to be mirrored. But as you see... Everything happened the same way. Things are just slightly different visually. Also mirrored. This one actually makes a difference because of the... Uh... Oh, what is it? The anvil. You need to jump to the right instead of the left this time. And more of the sword swing where we don't actually make contact and everything's good. For some reason, in my head, this is a really iconic room. I see this a lot, occasionally. So just lots of things to fight, lots of things to jump away from. And we just gallivant away. This room actually has a skip in it. Of all things, when you're up the stairs, you just hit up again, and it skips the whole room. It's weird, because this, like, this game is coded to be almost playing itself when you're doing it right. But, yeah, we just skip the whole scene there. Go back to our friend the spider here. And we exit. Save me. We get to listen to this guy's quips a little bit more. His little laughs and... And take another wildly slow sword spin. And we're good. We're probably going to see some repeat rooms real soon. Because we're getting close to the Dragon Blair. This is just hit right over and over and over again. Anyone can get through this room. 
I'm worried about dying in the rapids, but let's hope we don't. Because then that'll be a game over, and that's sad. If you're hearing some echoey audio, I don't know what's going on either. We're good, though. It's super faint, at least. <laughs> Live show, folks. Anything's possible. There's two of me. We're both playing this cooperatively. <laughs> but don't worry, we're almost through the Dragon's Lair as it is. I thought he examines the chain for a little while, like, huh. All right, we died in this room earlier, which is the first time that has ever happened to anyone in the history of Dragon's Lair. So, room is overachieving. There we go. We should be there. Oh, wait, we died in this room, too. I believe after this room, we should be in the dragon's lair. We get to say hi to Singe the dragon and Daphne. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. I like the heroic noises that happen in this room. Don Bluth at his finest, friends. I'm missing the beeps here somewhere, but we're good. Singe the Dragon would also watch a cartoon about that. Delicately balance things all over the room. Save me! The cage is locked with a key. The we will wait. Keeps it around his neck. To slay the dragon, use the magic sword. All right. Keep the one artifact that could possibly kill you immediately as a dragon right next to you at all times. I guess that means you always know where it is, but it just doesn't seem safe. We're good. One more beep. And we're going to go to the left. And we're going to beep again. That's the game. Oh, that's time. And that is Dragon's Lair again. There were some unfortunate deaths in there. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> no, no, none of it's your fault. Hmm? Ah. Yellstrick, please put in your favorite high score. <laughs> That was Dragon's Lair. I love that game so much. Now it looks like we're cutting out for a moment. We're switching up and we'll be right back in just a minute.